Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Microsoft Edge password manager and how that works. So password managers are used to uh, store your passwords for websites so that way you don't have to type them in or even remember them when you go to that website. So how you do that is when you sign up for a new website, let's do an example here. So we have the shop.com we're going to use. Uh, we're going to make an account here by going to create account. So, looks like it's pulling in some information here. We're going to ignore that. See, it'll kind of pull in information from your saves, uh, information in your browser as well. And we're going to use a password. Let's call it shop1234. Shop one two three four. Okay, and then we're going to uncheck these because we don't care about that. We'll do a little test here and create a new account. Now it asks you if you want to save the password, and if you want to edit the password before you save it, so we'll click on save, and then it tells you your password's been saved, and if you want to review your settings and so on, we'll just close that for now. So now to get to the password manager, we just got to go to the settings here. And then under profiles, you want to go to passwords. So we have all these saved passwords here. So here's the account we just made for shop.com, and there's one that we have before. So if you have multiple accounts for the same website, you'll find them in here. All right, so what you have here, if you want to view the password, you could click on this guy here, and you'll need to know the PIN or account for Windows to do that. That way, somebody can't just hop on your computer and find all your uh, website passwords. So that's, that's the password we just made here. And this column, you have the health uh, status here. It says it's a weak password, and it's been used on two sites. Oops, right here. And apps, okay. And then if you want to uh, hide that, you could... Go to the ellipsis here, click on Ignore Health, and then just kind of hides. It's just more of an informational thing. It's not going to help make the password any better or, you know, help you out in any security, that kind of thing. It's just more of a visual thing. And then you could delete the password. You could edit the password if you want to do that. So let's say you changed on the website and you didn't update your saved password here. You could come back in here and update it to match what you have on the actual website. You could copy the password if you want to paste it somewhere else. And then you have the change option, which uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It'll uh, take you to the website and let you change the password in one click here. So if we do this, see it's not prompting us to sign in here. So if we sign in, it just signs us in. So this one doesn't work. So let's try another one here. Let's try this Best Buy one here. So here it signed us in, and it gives us takes us right to the option to change the password. So we click on Current Password. We could have that entered from our Remember Passwords, and then it'll also give you an option to uh, automatically create a strong password. And if you don't like it, you click Refresh, and you can see the password down here, what it's going to use. So like I said, this takes you to the website, to the Change Password section, and that way it'll let you change your password right on the spot. So you could use a generated password right here, and it tells you, you know, it's nice and strong. Or if you don't like that, you could just uh, change it to something else. So let's say, um, that way we just did a manual password here. And click on Save. But if you use this method, if you don't put a strong enough password, it's going to warn you and not let you uh, get by. So we're going to try something different here. And you see it didn't match. Okay, and just click on save. So that was the old password. Here's the new one. 
Okay, so now if we go back to our settings here, Best Buy, view the password. You can see there's our updated strong password. So the change option worked for this Best Buy website, but it didn't work for the shop.com website. So that's not a perfect science there, so you'll have to uh, find out for yourself uh, which ways work and which don't. And then up here, you could also manually add a password by clicking on Add Password button. Put in the uh, website URL, your name and password, and save it. And that way, it will automatically be in there. You don't have to go to the website, put it in, and then you know click Save and have it do it manually. You, you could just do it this way yourself. And then if you want to import a password list from another user or browser, you could do that. Export your passwords, and then this will just toggle the password health column right there. And then at the very bottom, we have a never save password section. So let's say you create an account and it says, do you want to save the password? And you say no, it's going to put it here. So that way it's not going to automatically fill in the password for you when you go to that site. But if you want to uh, have it remember your password for you next time, you could just delete it from here. And then that way it'll prompt you next time to remember the password for you. And then, of course, if you have a ton of passwords, you could search websites here and just find what you're looking for. And at the very top, we have this offer to save password. So if you don't want it to offer to save your passwords at all, not even to prompt you, you know, anytime, you could turn this off here. And then if you want it to sign you in automatically, you could pick this option here. And then this option, you could set up a custom primary password that you could uh, type in before filling in website passwords. So this is computer specific, so this won't sync to any of your other computers that you log into. Then you have the more settings here. And then you have the option here, show alerts when passwords are found in an online leak. So if there was ever a security breach that Microsoft knows about that has your uh, email address in it or login, then you can have it shown here, and that way you know to go to that website and change your password uh, for security reasons. And then show the reveal password button in password fields, and then suggest strong passwords. So if you wanted to uh, choose a strong password for you, you could do this and then decide if you want to use it or not. So that's about it for passwords. Uh, you know, there's a lot of options here, so you could kind of fine-tune the way your saved passwords work, and then, like I said, go in and edit them, change them, delete them, uh, go right to the website from there, and so on. And then, of course, you could set your options on here and kind of fine-tune the way it works for you. So hopefully that makes sense. Once you go in here and play with it a little bit, it'll kind of, you know, start to come together for you, because I know it's kind of a lot just to try and take in just by watching this video. But... Give it a shot and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.